Well, greetings from the Niobrara County Extension Office. And to go along with the saying, variety is the spice of life, we're here to teach you how to make up your own spice mixes at home. Um, doing at home spice mixes is not only more cost effective, but it is also more healthy as you can control the sodium that you put into it and um, also kind of customize your blends to what you like. So today we're going to make a taco seasoning mix that you could then use in tacos, enchiladas, um, and Mexican casseroles, Mexican stir fries. So it's a very versatile spice and again, much cheaper than going to the store and buying the little envelopes of taco seasoning mix. So today we're going to use just a canning jar because that way you can keep it um, tightly closed and keep it in a cool, dark, dry place for its optimum storage. And um, this will make up enough seasoning that would equal six packages that you would buy um, in the store. So our recipe is very simple and we will include this recipe on the website. And um, so our first ingredient is a quarter cup of dried onions. And once you kind of invest in, um, at first, buying all the spices and herbs is a little costly, but once you start making all of your own um, spice mixes, you will recoup that cost very quickly. Our next ingredient is two tablespoons of chili powder. And, should I? These come sealed for their best storage at the store. So once you open them up, you just need to make sure that you always put the lid back on tightly and um, store them again in a cool, dark, dry place. So there's our two tablespoons of chili powder. We are next doing one tablespoon of cornstarch. And always have a knife available so that you can level off your um, ingredient and you get the proper amount. The cornstarch is put in to kind of help thicken up the dish you're preparing so that um, it has a little body to it. Our next ingredient, it calls for one tablespoon of crushed red pe pepper flakes. We don't like it quite that strong at our house, so we're gonna put in a half a tablespoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and still we think it's um, plenty spicy for our taste. The next ingredient is one tablespoon of garlic powder. one tablespoon of dried oregano. And this one will be a little harder to measure because um, it is a powder and it'll come out very quickly and my spoon is too big to get down in there. And our last ingredient is one tablespoon of cumin which is a popular Mexican spice. And we'll put that in our jar. Uh, this jar would hold two recipes of this, so you could make quite a bit of it ahead of time and just have it in your cupboard ready to use whenever um, you're going to make tacos or other Mexican-inspired dishes. So we will include this recipe on the website. And as you can see, it looks pretty much just like the spices you would buy in, this, in a packet. And two tablespoons of this is the equivalent to a packet. The other thing we will be posting on the website along with this is a 
um, handout called Spice It Up gives you some other spice mixes, everything bagel seasoning, which we love um, on a bagel smeared with cream cheese with the everything bagel, bagel seasoning. This is one where you can definitely control the salt in it. And um, for those of us that need to watch our sodium intake, this is a great one. The other um, handouts that we'll be posting on the website is one just called Spice and Herb Tips. This will give you an idea of where to store your spices and herbs in your kitchen. Other quick tips on um, may, grinding your own like pepper or cinnamon or whatever, um, how you would do that. And just a lot of good spice tips. The other thing that we'll be spend, sending along on the website is a little booklet called Add Some Spice to Your Life. And this kind of goes through each spice and what it would go along with. What goes good with beef, what goes good with chicken, what goes good on vegetables. So that, again, you can use your imagination and come up with spice combinations that you and your family like. So with that, we hope you'll um, add some spice to your life and try some homemade spice mixes.